before the Marine video got taken down, you guys wanted me to review the infantry, so we could do that. We're talking about God's favorite MLS. 11 Bravos. Grunts. Mother Nature has a way of letting you know what her most dangerous creations are, so you know to not fuck with them. Whether that be the ass bell on a rattlesnake, the red hourglass of a black widow, the roar of a lion, or this blue cord right here. Unlike the Marines, it takes an act of Congress to deploy the army. That means you fucked up so bad you got the Republicans and the Democrats to agree on something. And if you fucked it up bad enough, they will next day air these motherfuckers to your front doorstep. Make no mistake, if you see some shit like this, your country just got turned into the next episode of The Hunger Games, and you're about to find out what a young American will do for free college and free healthcare. Free. Now, they wear multicam now, but back in my day, they wore this shit. Which I would argue is better, because there's a certain amount of psychological damage you do when you beat the enemy dressed like a fucking Minecraft character. Now, the Marines and the Army will both put you in a forever box with ease. However, it's the tone in which they do it that sets them apart from one another. See, the Marines are known for coming at you like a rabid dog, hence their name, Devil Dogs. And the Eleven Bravos, on the other hand, just don't give a fuck about anything. I once knew a grunt that when he would kick in a door with bad guys behind it, instead of throwing in a flashbang grenade, he would throw in a rubber duck because he thought it was funny. You can go on the internet and watch real-life footage where they were having a barbecue and got ambushed by the Taliban and didn't bother to quit grilling. You are nothing more than a nuisance to these men. You are not a threat. All they want to do is eat food and take a nap. But make no mistake, if you cut that nap short, they will put on their flip-flops and beat your fucking ass in their underwear if they have to. Once provoked, these guys turn into the fucking Terminator. There is nowhere you can hide, they will just walk until they find you. You can go to the highest mountain at its highest peak, and these guys will strap on an 85-pound backpack full of beef jerky and bullets and hunt you down. And the scariest part about that is that they are fueled almost exclusively by nicotine, caffeine, and hate. I have seen these men drink till 3 in the morning, only to get up at 6 in the morning and run six miles at a sub-seven minute pace, there is truly nothing you can do to them that they won't do to themselves for fun. Their main battle strategy is to go on patrols, which is a fancy way of saying they're just going to get their gear and walk around until somebody picks a fight with them. They're literally playing the world's largest game of fuck around and find out. And if you do decide to fuck around and find out, you will feel like a five-year-old trying to wrestle his father. You are outmatched and outclassed on a level that you can barely comprehend. In conclusion, it would behoove you to just let them chew tobacco, shotgun energy drinks, and take naps. Because if you wake them up from that nap, you're probably going to take a nap forever.